Pulmonary hygiene is done to improve oxygenation and ventilation, maintain a patent airway, and clear secretions. Position the infant supine and swaddle to promote comfort during suctioning. Position infant in a sniffing position with a roll behind their shoulders to open the airway. Use a bulb syringe to clear the mouth or nares of secretions. First, gently suction the mouth and then the nares. Discard secretions by squeezing the bulb onto a towel or blanket. A suction device can also be used in the neonatal intensive care unit to suction an infant's mouth and nose. Ensure the suction is set to a pressure of 80 to 100 millimeters mercury. Use a 10 French suction catheter to remove secretions from the mouth and pharynx. Endotracheal suctioning should be done as needed and only when clinically indicated. Suctioning is needed if the intubated infant is having increased work of breathing, unable to mobilize secretions, has wet or coarse lung sounds, or if there's a change in vital signs. Gather the necessary supplies for suctioning, including normal saline bullets to clear secretions from the catheter and an inline closed suction system. The size of the inline suction catheter should not exceed half the ET tube diameter. For example, a six to eight French suction catheter is appropriate for a 3.0 millimeter ET tube. You may consider increasing the oxygen concentration by 10 to 15% prior to suctioning to aid in drops in oxygen saturation. Ensure the wall suction is on and set at a pressure of 80 to 100 millimeters mercury. Note the visible number on the ET tube and match that to the number on the inline suction catheter to determine the suction depth. For this scenario, we will suction to the number 12 or the number highlighted in red. Suction depth should not exceed the length of the ET tube or the adapter. This can cause damage to the carina and surrounding tissues. While ensuring the tube is stable to prevent accidental dislodging, insert the inline suction swiftly to the predetermined number. Carefully withdraw the catheter while pressing down on the thumb control valve. Once the catheter is completely out of the suction catheter, attach a normal saline bullet. Press down on the thumb control valve and squeeze the normal saline bullet to clear secretions from the catheter. Look at the window of the inline suction and assess the secretions color and consistency. Assess vital signs. If the infant is noted to have oxygen desaturations with suctioning, ensure to pre-oxygenate the infant. Wean the infant's oxygen concentration gradually back to baseline after suctioning. Auscultate breath sounds bilaterally for improvement and assess for a rise in oxygen saturation. The infant may be position prone or side lying to optimize oxygenation and ventilation. There are different suction devices depending on the need of the infant, including a bulb syringe, suction catheter, and an inline closed suctioning system. Suctioning should be done as needed or when clinically indicated. The infant will be positioned prone or side lying to optimize oxygenation and ventilation. <laughs>